Morning. Um, a little bit of a sense of uh, deja vu, I think, with some of these questions. Um, shall we start with the injuries and Saliba? So more reports that he could be out for the season. You said you'd know more this week. What can you tell us? There's not been real improvements, unfortunately, on him. Um, so we are still, still waiting. We are still hopeful, but uh, obviously it's another week that is gone by, and uh, Isa hasn't been able to um, to train with the team. Can you tell us a little bit more about the injury? There was some speculation that it's sort of disc problems and that he might have to miss the rest of the season. I leave that to the doctors to explain if they have to Are explain. Are you preparing for the rest of the season without him now? Well, at the moment we don't have him. We are preparing for this game without him, and next game, um, obviously, probably is going to come too close as well. So we have to go week by week at the moment. Okay. And um, Jacka, is he okay now? Because he missed the game of sickness. Yeah, Granit has been out. Uh, hopefully, he will be able to to train today, but um, I still a doubt. Still a doubt. And anyone else a doubt? Or everyone mm, else okay? No, the rest okay. Okay. Um, obviously. Quite a, an emotional end to that game on Friday night. When you sort of picked apart the performance and took the emotion out of it, what do you feel was at the heart of some of those errors early on? Human errors. Uh, players, uh, they make a lot of brilliant decisions and, and they make mistakes. Um, the areas where you made the mistakes probably defined the extents or the consequences to that mistakes and obviously where we made those mistakes punished us heavily. But looking at the last two games back, taking that apart, we deserve to win both games without a question of a doubt. When you say human errors, we've obviously seen you go most of the season without making those errors. How do you get the, to the bottom of why they're making them now? We have made some errors, but we have managed to win the games and then probably those errors get a little bit dissolved. But we have had some of them that we have managed to do that. Uh, but yeah, especially certain areas, you have to minimise those as much as possible because the margins then become much smaller. Because from the outside, it's easy for us to say, look, they're under pressure, this is why they're making the mistakes, but what's it from the inside? I don't think it's about that. It's, it's decision making, sometimes it's execution, uh, sometimes credit to the opponents as well that they put you in certain positions to force those mistakes. Uh, but as I said, I think we've done some in the past as well um, that I can remember, especially at home, uh, that it could have cost us something and we managed to win the games. Obviously, still 10 games unbeaten. There's been quite a big reaction a against Arsenal kind of going on to win the league from here. but. The message from you is what? Go win? Still believe? 100%. But we knew from the beginning and uh, the City was the team to beat, uh, probably with Liverpool, because what those teams have done in the last six, seven years, and they fully deserve that credit and, uh, and to be at the top. And we were the ones that wanted to be closing that gap as much as we possibly could. And we are toe to toe with them. We know, we knew that we had to go to the Etihad. We know that after that, they're going to have another five very difficult games. So that game is going to be really important. Is it going to define the season? Uh, the answer is no. You've been part of title races before. At this stage, how much is about that belief and confidence? How much is about psychology? How much is about mentality? A lot of plays a huge part. Um, obviously, the belief is there. When I look how they train, how they reacted after that, they moved in the dressing room, how they defend each other in every moment. Um, we really want it, and uh, we're going to show that again tomorrow night. Uh, but then you have to deliver in the right moment, the right performance, and uh, and it has to be perfection because that's what this last level demands: is absolute perfection in every every second ball. Just finally for me, obviously you played in cup final before, but as far as you as a coach, biggest game you've had to prepare for. Now, for sure, but if you ask me, it's in the career, probably a final is, is something then because it's leave the trophy or, or go home in tears. Um, but uh, those situations, that they made you a better coach, you know, they made you understand the team better and, and it's just incredible to be in the position that we are in, uh, trying to prepare the game as we always do to win it. And this is what we're going to do. So not quite the biggest, the second biggest game? I don't know. Very big, let's say very big because it's the one that we have to play tomorrow.
Lindsay? Uh, since Friday, Mikel, I think the narrative shifted somewhat to Manchester City and it being in their hands, but the actual reality is <coughs> it's in both of your hands, which is quite unusual, because if you win until the end of the season, you will win the title. How are you managing to drown out that other noise about it being in their hands? Like we've been doing for the last nine or ten months, uh, focusing on what we can do, um, don't get dragged out, whether it's extremely positive or a bit more negative, and, uh, and be stable in our thoughts and in our process and, and be our best every single day to try to, to do that because we don't know the outcome. So what he was writing eight months ago now probably is not relevant because they said something that it didn't happen for eight months. <laughs> so it doesn't matter what, what we are reading that is going to happen tomorrow. Uh, and know you have to go back and, and read what it was, it was said. One of the key differences will be that experience, that winning experience of getting over the line. How much are you leaning on Jesus and Shanko in your squad at the moment? Are you even leaning on them? For sure. I think the experience is um, key when you've been in those moments, to handle those moments, to understand the importance of certain things when you are competing in a football match, the capacity to transmit, like those two players have to the rest of the team, um, a lot of things that are very, very important. Um, and then the rest, sometimes is the best, but some of them they are young, but they play a lot of games already. And when did you last have a conversation with Pep Guardiola? Mm. Exact date? <laughs> <laughs> Probably the last time that, uh, that we played. And has he been in touch this week at all? No. Um, Erling Haaland obviously is going to be the man to stop up front. And with Saliba out, I know you're not going to give too much away, but is that the area that you've been focusing on in training this week of how you're going to have your centre-back partnership or whether you're going to change the system? Um, obviously, we have work in, in their threats uh, as well as we have work in their weaknesses and we know where they are. Um, the issue with a team that, live, that uh, City is that it starts with the goalkeeper. And he's a threat when the ball is with him, you know, and you have to control every single one. But um, just focus on us. We know what they, they want to do, what they're going to try to do. They can do various things. They can play with a box inside, they can play with a diamond, they can build the game with three, they can be asymmetric on one side. They can put Bernard on the right and then play a diamond there and put Walker higher. They can do so many things uh, that you have to be adaptive. So then you have to focus on certain principles uh, to try to take the game where you want. Hi, Mikel. Um, do you see this as winner takes all, this game? Sorry? Do you see this game as being winner takes all? Whoever wins will win the title. No, I don't think. If we win tomorrow night, we haven't won the league, that's for sure. But it puts you obviously in a great position because of the number of games left, even though City have games in hand. That's what I'm kind of saying. If you win, you're overwhelming favourites. If they win, they're overwhelming favourites. It will shift a little bit, probably the percentage. Um, but five games in this league with the games that we both have to play, very tricky still. Do you think the last few weeks has shown that your team are suffering from nerves? They're, they're, they are very young and most of them are very inexperienced. Has nerves been perhaps the biggest thing? How will they overcome that tomorrow? I think it's, it's more about uh, the situation that in key moments in games, they haven't gone our way. And, uh, and it could have been very different. And I still say, even with those moments, we deserve to win the last two games by, by quite far. And, and we haven't been able to do that. And that efficiency is key, but as well because in front of goal, there were some moments that we should have done much better and we considered some sloppy goals. You said you'll be relying a little bit on, or you're, you're encouraging Zinchenko and uh, Jesus to, to sort of, you know, their winning experience, maybe within the squad, to talk to them ahead of the game. How are you doing that? How are you involving them maybe a little bit more than you normally would do? In a natu very natural way, since I think uh, when, when they come in after two weeks, three weeks, they said, because they've been where they've been, he said, we can win this league. So it's not something that we have started to feel or they have tried to transmit. And I didn't know about that, but they said to me that a few months ago. It's been going on since August. So it's not something that now you rely on them. No, no, this process has been coming for a long time. You've also said it's not the biggest game of your career in terms of managerial you know, cup finals are bigger. Um, but do you appreciate that if you were to go on and win the title, it would be something exceptional when where you were at the beginning of the season? 
Yeah, but the biggest game is the next one. And the biggest game in my career was uh, the game that we play against Southampton. Because if we would have won that game, we would have been in a much better position. And you have to leave the day. And and after City, the biggest one, for sure, you asked me that question. Because if we win the next one, then yeah, it will be that. And if not, it will be Wolves. <laughs> the last one. It's the biggest one, yeah. So that is going to change every single week. And the last one for me, um, as you will know, City, when they get on a roll, very hard to stop. I mean, they seem to be on that roll right now where they just win game after game after game. Um, in, in a sense, you'd have preferred this game maybe two or three months ago. We cannot change that. But uh, they've been in uh, this incredible form and look where we are in the table still. So that means that we've been, as well, in an incredible form. That's where we are where we are. Good luck tomorrow. Thank you. No. A lot, a lot of the narrative around this game is how difficult it's going to be for you and your players, how, how hard a task it is going to Man City. But when you want to win the league, when you want to be at the top, it's, the, it's a night to actually thrive and enjoy for you and your players, isn't it? Yeah, it's going to be a, a tough night and challenge, yes. But the opportunity is incredible for us. And we knew from the beginning, you want to win a Premier League, you have to go to Spurs and you have to beat them. You have to go to Chelsea and you have to beat them. You have to go away from them and you have to beat them. And this is what we've been doing. That's why we are here. And now we have to go to City and you have to beat them. You want to be champion, you have to win those matches. It's as simple as that. You talk about only focusing on yourselves and not, and not how Man City will set up. Is that a shift we've seen in recent years? Because of when you, when you first came in, you had to change the way you approach these big games, but now you can actually play the way you want to play. No, no, I said that we have to focus a lot in us. We need to understand what they can do and we have to be prepared for those changes, which is a lot because they can do it in the beginning, they can do it after 20 minutes, a half time in the last 20 minutes, and you have to be really prepared for that. But this cannot absorb your energy to be constantly adapting to what, it, and we have to focus because we have a lot of strengths in our strengths as well, how we can cause them problems. The first time Man City won the Premier League was 11 years ago. Uh, and that, that April, they, they had a very big game where they lost to Arsenal. And a certain Mikel Arteta got the goal. I just wondered if, if you remembered much about that night. Yes, because I didn't used to score a lot of goals. So <laughs> I have a good memory with that. James? Mikel, you mentioned a few questions back about half a dozen things that City could do on Wednesday night. Do you feel like you know what they're going to do from the outset? At least? The answer is no. Because I don't know the lineup, <laughs> so and once once they have the lineup, we would have a rough, more rough idea. But depends who he plays, uh, they can do something different, like we can. And you mentioned the individual errors, maybe changing the course of games recently. You, uh, is there any? We've done them. We're not going to do them no more. I was going to say, is there any sense that that might have started in that game against City? And do you feel like that was another game that where the result didn't get maybe the one of the Emirates? The margins, you cannot give anything away. That's for sure. And against big teams, they punish you straight away. And, uh, and that game, for many periods, we did really, really well and we deserve much better. But again, we had one or two moments that we give them. And in that moment, the game was over. Just a couple more on the light, James. Okay, you developed a team with such a clear style, clear identity. C can you go to City and win op sort of on your own terms? Or do you have to modify your approach because of how good they are? That's what we do every game, you know, in certain areas. Are you talking in ball possession? Are you talking out of possession? In transition moments? Are we talking on restart? Are we talking on set pieces? Are we talking on the emotional state? You have to shift it all the time. Every opponent demands and questions you. Uh, different things and gives you different opportunities and this is no difference with with that team it's just obviously that the quality of the opponent is as good as it gets anywhere in the world that's for sure obviously a lot of focus on Erling Haaland when you analyze City how has he changed them this season well when you look at the numbers is you know there's no comparison with with anybody else but this as well he's able to produce that because the the setup is done in the right way for him. Um, the players that he got around him, the way he's coached, you know, obviously the, the qualities that he has. So it's, it's a lot of things that have to be in, in their way. And they have, even with him, a capacity to play in different ways because when they play really far from your goal, they have the capacity to exploit open spaces. And when they are attacking low blocks, now they have a different threat because they are a very physical team right now. Because of how clinical he is, it, it's the bigger challenge to stop the supply to him. Because by the time he's got the ball, the problem's sort of there, if you like. 
the problems are gone. <laughs> Yeah, well, it's, it's more it's difficult. difficult. Obviously, preventing the source is, is something that probably is the best uh, the best recipe. Go ahead. Uh, this stage, a similar stage last season, your team went on a run of three losses in a row and then went to Stamford Bridge, and you, you tried something almost completely different to what you've been doing before in, in terms of the setup. Obviously, it's a run of three draws now, but going into this game, are you tempted to sort of try something almost completely to get the team out of the rut or are you sort of so defined in your identity that you're almost afraid to change things now? We will see tomorrow. Okay. And um, <laughs>